right now with the funding booth, the owners of this financing company that's gonna help you get your truck and trailer. Now I'm telling you, motherfucker, almost cussed. I can't, I can't do that. No, this is a family <laughs> event here, ladies. Family and event. Saturday, Sunday, <laughs> Ontario Convention Center. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Yeah. Um, this is not a sponsored been video. Drinking all morning. Yeah, right, right. So we're gonna get into this, and the big question is, if my mother truckers, they got good work history, they got some experience, they, they got shitty credit, do you guys honestly think you could help them out without breaking their bank? No doubt. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what's up, man. That's what's I'll tell up. Tell you why. Tell me. What's going on, mother truckers? Welcome to the Asia My Show. For you, mother truckers, today that are having problems with getting financing, I'm here with the owners, the CEOs right here of the funding booth, and they're going to tell you how you can get some financing. So I appreciate you guys for being on the show. Absolutely. Uh, appreciate you yeah. having us. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah so, be here, man. shoot. Now tell, let, let's get into it, man. Absolutely. So people, first off, they, they might not know where to even start, right? So can you tell them basically a, a, a quick note of how they could kind of get their research in or how they should get started or what they should think about? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, many people, when they think about financing anything, they think about the two or three items in their life that most people ever finance. So that's a car, right. that's their house. But right. when you think of equipment financing or more importantly, commercial financing, when you're financing an asset for your business that ultimately is there to you know, make you money, save you money, or mitigate risk. Right. So, you know, one, it's, it's a lot of education around the difference between a commercial loan and a personal loan. Okay. So, and, and as I mentioned, there's kind of three key pillars that go into that, that commercial financing of what many lenders will, will review. All right, shit, man, let's get into it. So what are these three pillars, man? Absolutely. So at the end of the day, it comes down to cash flow. You okay. know, whether you're a new business or existing business, you know, every bank's going to want to see cash flow. Um, and then they're going to want to see the, the extent of that cash flow from a time and business perspective. Right. Uh, and then credit. So uh -huh. credit can be business credit. So if you've, you know, a fleet and you've purchased multiple vehicles over the years, you'll have that sort of established credit. And the same goes for, for personal credit as well for your, for your startups. All right. So I'm just going to pretend and I'm going to talk like most of the drivers out there. A lot of us might have a job in trucking, right? We know how to drive a truck and maybe we have two years experience, right? Mm -hmm. And is there a amount of experience that you would like to see? Um, you know, I think most lenders would typically see two to three years as CDL driver, even you know, a company driver, okay. two to three years as a CDL. Uh, and then once you look at when you become a company, you know, that kind of deline you know, delineation is two years between I see. startup and non-startup. I see, I see. So, all right, so just say I have two years of uh, a trucking experience as a company driver. I'm ready to become an owner operator. I'm ready to buy my truck. I saved up some money, but most of us, maybe I saved up about 10 grand, right? Is there a percentage that you would say you recommend people save up? Let's let the people yeah. hear from my man, Bob, right? What do yeah. You yeah, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> no, I need to hear some of, talking over in here. In terms of a percentage, uh, the minimum payment for somebody that's looking to get into their first truck, the down payment's gonna be 10%. 10%. Okay, yeah. So I hear 20% at times. A lot of times that's the case, right? Um, okay. But we have a few programs available where, you know, if your credit's uh, a 625 or better, uh -huh. um, you know, if you've got 10% down, uh, very flexible with regards to the age of the trucks as well. Okay. Um, so, you know, a lot of the times you may be stuck into having to think you have to get a brand new truck to get started. Right, right, right. That's right. a big investment, especially yeah. for somebody that's transitioning from um, driving for someone else to driving for themselves, right? Um, so, you know, 10% down, it's kind of the, that's the bare minimum, I would say, for startups. All right, so if you have 10% down, but you got shitty credit. Mm -hmm. Can you still help my mother truckers out Absolutely. here? Absolutely. Are you sure you're not just playing with me? And at the end of the day, it's gonna it's it's a, it's a business conversation and not a right. finance conversation. It's okay. you, mother trucker. How much can you make per week? At the end of the day, you're buying this truck to make money. Right. So everyone, you know, at times can get really locked in at the rates, and and, and Bob and I are very transparent with with what all of our financial right. structures look like. But at the end of the day, if you can make ten thousand dollars a month driving. Right. And you don't make that 10000 without a truck, but you can finance that truck for $2,500. Right. The folks that we work with value those profits on top of the payment more so than they do the interest part of that payment itself. Because they know without that truck, right. they couldn't make that additional income. And right. that income is more valuable to them than you know, the ego around right. what's my rate. I hear you. So if you got shitty credit, but you got some work history, and you could show some value there. Yeah. And, and you got some years of experience. It's the right investment for you. you, know, you. I hear the you. last I hear thing you. we want to do is get someone funding that is going to be in a bad situation and more importantly is going to put them, you know, we're not in the business of 
of financing trucks just to finance them. At the end I appreciate of the day, you saying that. Is it right for you, right. Mr. Owner Operator? Yeah. Is this sustainable? Have you drive in for this? You know, because the last thing you want is another situation like you know, 08 or 11, God forbid. And you know, we want people to be in a good position. No, I feel you. Because they have families to provide for. And to at this point, with regards to you know, guys with not the best credit or not the best situation. Right. A couple things to keep in mind, you know, yeah, your down payment may have to be a little bit heavier. Right. Um, but if you have additional collateral, right. meaning if you're looking to add a second truck um, to grow your business, you know, and you want to use that, that first truck that you have as collateral, um, that can take place of that heavy down payment that you may need to put down. I feel you. You know, we've got programs available for people that are just starting out that don't have any experience whatsoever. Really? Um, they're going to have to put some more skin in the game. Right, you know? right. You, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, higher down payment. Yeah. Higher down payment. I mean, that's got to make sense. Everybody's going to understand. And we have that. In our investment clients, someone that says, you okay. know, I just want to purchase a truck and, and, and you know, I want to help my friend out. He's yeah. a driver. Right. He's going to drive it for me. So can we fund it? Absolutely. But we're going to be very transparent around, you're not right. going to get a 10% down payment. Just like if you were trying to buy a commercial product. Property. Right. You know, you can't go out and get an FHA loan and put three percent down on a home. You have to put three percent down on on a commercial property that you're going to then rent out because it's now it's it, it's viewed differently in, in the eyes of, of an accountant or so, the IRS. More importantly. So at the end of this, right? I mean, you can answer this if you can't answer this. Have you turned down clients because you knew that their current situation you could get them financing, percent. but thousand they will percent. fail? Often, a thousand percent. A thousand percent. Because it's our name too. I mean, what, what brand would you know, be We're the themselves? finance company that's helping that client. Right. So when it comes to to us um, and the partners that we work with, right, um, it's important for us to write good business. I feel you. you I know, feel you. you know, yeah. And we don't want to put somebody in a bad position. Um, you know. And to that point, uh, one thing I want to bring up is early payoff discounts and options for for a lot of these drivers. Um, a lot of the programs that we offer come with very favorable terms. So, right. for instance. You know, what's great today may not be great in 18 months, but if you lock yourself into a contract for the next 48 months, right? isn't it great to be able to get out of it month 18 versus month 48? I feel you on that. So no, that's something exactly. that a lot of people, we want to educate them on and, and we want them to understand that, you know, yeah, you may not be happy with how much you're paying, right. um, but understand it could be temporary because your, your situation may be temporary. I feel, no, and, I feel that, you know, I feel that. It gives you the opportunity to, you know, refinance. Offset a lot of those costs yeah. um, too. You know, get out of, get out of a higher debt, um, and, and do a number of things that could help your business two, three years down the road. No, that's what's up. And and the reason why, mother truckers, I'm talking to these guys is because they are the owner of their business, you know. And we talked off camera, and they said that you know what, if someone's struggling, but they could show work history and they could show that they can make it, you know, these guys right here, they're telling me that they'll try their best and give you the best consulting to even do it. So, Absolutely. you know, I really appreciate you guys. I mean, education is the first part, you know, and that's a lot of what we do is educating people on what's available. So for any, anyone watching this, feel free to, you know, visit our website, www.thefundingbooth.com. Yeah. You can schedule out an inquiry. We're more than happy to jump on the phone and, and offer our free complimentary credit review. You get a detailed experience. You better report. be free for the Asian no, money show. <laughs> no, no impact to your credit. And we'll, we'll let you know exactly what your options are right there on the phone. No, so, hell yeah. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you, bro. Cool, cool, Good cool, to cool. have you. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Good and luck, then, everyone out there. Yeah. Look forward to speaking with you all. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm.